thank you so much for tuning in so today we're going to be doing grade 12 life sciences and the topic that we'll be tackling is human reproductive systems so thank you thank you once again for tuning in don't forget to like this video to comment and to subscribe and to tell all your friends so yeah i really hope you do enjoy it so yeah let's get to it okay so what i've drawn out here is the 28th menstrual day cycle i mean the 28th day menstrual cycle and i'll explain everything in detail as i move along but i just wanted to give you the background of what this is so firstly you need to know that this is the ovarian cycle and that tells you that it happens in the ovaries okay and this is the hormonal control as well as this so it's just a whole lot of diagrams that have been combined into one yeah so okay oh you, your hormones you need to know all four of them and you need to know where they're sec like where they're secreted from and what their function is so we're going to start off with if it's h i mean f stands for if it's h o stands for Ostrogen, okay, I won't be able to write that, but O for ostrogen. L stands for LH, which is the luteinizing hormone. Oh, and FSH is the follicle stimulating hormone. And P is progesterone. Okay, that's the names. And then you need to know where they're secreted from. So these two are from the hypophysis or the pituitary gland the word is here hypophysis or pituitary gland fsh and lh and then estrogen is secreted by the follicle as this follicle develops it secretes estrogen and oh yeah i'll go back to it later and lh okay hypophysis and progesterone is secreted by the corpus luteum and I will explain as I go on what one of those things are. Okay, so you also need to know that between day one and day seven is what is referred to as the period. And that is the, it's a, it's a normal everyday term that basically describes the shedding of the lining of the endometrium because it gets thicker. So between day one and seven, that sheds. So that's when you have your period yeah so that's day one to seven and then in the ovaries when you're born every girl has like like hundreds and thousands of follicles and those are known as primary follicles and then by the time a uh, female reaches puberty that's when um the follicle every month one follicle is is released and yeah, that, that is the follicle that <laughs> is it shown in this diagram to grow. Okay, let's get back to that. So, the, the hormone that plays a role in the growth or the development of the follicle is FSH, which is why it's known as follicle stimulating hormone. That's FSH. So, it grows from being a primary follicle to here where it's known as a I'm not sure on the pronunciation, but the Grafian or the Gravian follicle, I'm just going to write it here on the side. Follicle. That is a fully developed follicle. Yeah, and that, for it to go from a primary follicle to a Grafian follicle, that is because of FSH. And then on day 14, day 14 is a very important day because the secondary oocyte, which is this, or the egg cell, and it's a, it's haploid. On day 14, it is released. And that release happens because of LH, the euthanizing hormone. That's why on this graph, you see that on day 14, LH peaks. It is the highest. And that is because it needs to um, stimulate for the release of the secondary oocyte. Okay that's that and then as you see the levels of estrogen are increasing and that is because estrogen is secreted by the follicle so estrogen secrete i mean the follicle secretes estrogen and estrogen 
plays a role in the thickening of the endometrium and the thickening of the endometrium needs to happen so that in 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 case fertilization happens implantation will be able to happen in the endometrium so oestrogen plays a role in the increase in the thickness of the end and of the endometrium yeah <laughs> so that's oestrogen so now we're up to day 14. and then after day 14 since the secondary oocyte is released what remains is known as the corpus luteum the corpus luteum and the corpus luteum is a thing that secretes progesterone so that is why after day 14 progesterone increases and the role of progesterone is to maintain the pregnancy so if the female doesn't get pregnant then the levels of progesterone will decrease as shown on this diagram so that is the role of progesterone oh also <laughs> the corpus luteum disintegrates if fertilization doesn't occur because the corpus luteum needs to stay like big it needs to stay fully integrated so that it can keep on secreting progesterone so no fertilization then corpus luteum disintegrates therefore decreased levels of progesterone and then this whole cycle begins again <laughs> so yeah okay um i think important things that you need to know is firstly day 14 day 14 that is when ovulation occurs uh, ovulation oh yeah and another question that they can ask they can ask why is it impossible for a woman to fall pregnant twice, like in the nine months? And that is because high levels of progesterone inhibit the secretion of FSH. So whenever there's high levels of progesterone, there will be low levels of FSH. And with low levels of FSH, no follicle will develop, no follicle developing that means fertilization can't happen again so that yeah that is one thing yeah and i think that's it <laughs> okay that is it for today thank you so so much for tuning in if you have any questions feel free to drop those comments and yeah till next time oh don't forget to subscribe happy studying guys